La Strada. I first saw this movie in my after school class with Father Garrelli in my all boys Catholic high school. I'm gonna take this actually. Number 59, Night Porter. This movie, this movie, like, I can't tell you how big an effect it had on me. I'd never seen a movie with the content that this movie had in it. So it was Father Garrarelli was the name of the priest. And he took me through like Italian neorealism, but he also threw all of it. I mean, anything Italian he was showing me. But, um, you know, Night Porter, I guess, was just a special last movie that I got to see with him. But it, it, it blew me away. I actually remember after I saw the movie, walking out of the room, I saw Father Garelli down the hall, and he asked me if I liked it. My response was, I did a thing Dirk Bogart does in the movie. I just went. And that meant I really liked it. <laughs> so Wanda, I'd never seen, but I saw Wanda on the Criterion channel when it was on there. And my wife, uh, Maggie, was doing the deuce. And um, we watched it, you know, I think it was something that it really inspired me, this kind of like, really wild, troubling vision of this woman who's just like right on the edge of what it means to be alive. I mean, it's terrifying in how, like the potential for violence in it and stuff is really intense and how at risk she is the entire time. But um, I know it really inspired Maggie when she was doing The Deuce, so I'm definitely taking that one. This movie, because I got to work with the director and um, I was such a massive fan, but this is also a kind of music movie unlike any, I think at that point that I'd ever seen. And I think it actually was my, I was already into David Byrne, but it was, it, it was my gateway to becoming obsessed with him. And I mean, when I dance, this is what I look to do. Um, <laughs> eating Raul. Okay, if you haven't seen this movie, go see this movie. I think this is a great movie to see right now. Also, you know, it's just, um, I mean, it's, it's made with such glee and the humor is so messed up. But the, again, for me, a lot of the time with movies, because I guess I'm in them and I, can see them being made on some level is this movie was made with glee and spontaneity and just going for it. I mean, there's no other movie that had been made like it before it was made. Um, I want to be in a remake of this movie. I'm just putting it out there right now. I'll be Raul. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's, here's one last one that I just really want to do. Because this movie, Safe is the best movie about this particular topic. And with just, she gives such an amazing performance and he's obviously a fantastic filmmaker, but this idea that our environment is killing us. I have so many friends who think they have this or that or the black mold or the microplasma or the Epstein bar, the Gulf War syndrome or whatever it is, gluten-free, anything. It's just the, our movie, you know, the movie I made with Michael Tuberski, which is about sound um, killing you, basically. Um, it's just, I mean, there's some scenes in this that will haunt you for the rest of your movie going life. This is a horror movie and a great one. Oh, one more. Hang on. Hang on. Just because I feel like sometimes you don't really understand why a movie is good have all these really great people, and then it just kind of comes together. I think that this movie, Breaking the Waves, I don't think he's made a movie like that with as much compassion and heart and forgiveness for his characters, but still has that strangling anxiety in it that he's so awesome at since this one. And I think sometimes, you know, I mean, he's gone on and made many great movies, but, um, I, I really love the the God stuff in it. That, see, I'm so Catholic. God. When she prays, to me, that's what it feels like to pray. You know, I love it.